Tinubu in shock as Northern as full and his clash. People be angrily react on insecurity. Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Yes, it has now gotten to the point where Northerners have started clashing with the Fulanese. You know, during the last presidential election, they voted Bola Metinimbu and APC with sentiments. They voted with ethnicity, religion, and tribe. They never knew that it would, fe it would definitely fetch back on them. The high rate of commodity and the high rate of exchange of, uh, of rates and all that have now hampered on everybody. Virtually everybody in this country is suffering it. So it is irrespective of the fact that you are from the north or from the east or from maybe from the south or west. It is now affecting everybody because the same market that the northerners will attend or meet is the same market the southerners and the easterners will also meet. Now, northerners has taken a bold step to ridicule and curb insecurity in their region because this level of insecurity has even met down to the FCT where the president is residing and where the National Assembly is even situating. Look at the rate of insecurity, kidnaps and all of that. As you can see on your screen, this Mieti Ala inaugurates vigilante group in Nasarawa to tackle banditry, kidnapping, other crimes. They, are now, they, now knew, they have now taken it as a responsibility to see how they could curb the situation of insecurity in their region. When the Southern, South Easterners formed ESN, the Eastern Security Network, they felt it was a, a sentiment of the independent you know, indigenous people of Biafra. They never knew that they tried to do those things so that they can cope the high rate of banditry within their area. Now it has affected them. The Northerners have now started clashing with Fulanese. As you can see, Fulanese Social Cultural Organization has inaugurated the nominated vigilante group in Nasarawa State to complement conventional security agencies in the region. Belo Begoje, the national president of the association who inaugurated the group on Wednesday in Lafia, said that his formation became imperative given the increasing insecurity challenges in the country. He said that the first batch of the vigilantes comprises 1,144 Fulani youths from various communities in the 13 local government areas in Nasarawa state. He added that the profiling of other interested persons was ongoing as they target to recruit up to 4,000 youths for proper coverage of all Fulani communities. You cannot see that even the Fulanis are now guiding themselves in this particular country. The Northerners are now also a corporate and they are, fa they are, they, they are facing insecurity in their region because they fail to understand that a leadership is not ethnicity, it is not religion, and it is not by, by tribalism or nepotism. They fail to understand these things. And the national president also has promised that the group would assist in fishing out all criminal elements in Fulani communities and hand them over to the security agencies for necessary action. Now, they have understood what the South Easterners saw initially, that this level of insecurity is getting out of hand. And what is the work of the government? The work of the government led by Bola Metinubu's administration is to make sure that life and properties are well safeguarded under their jurisdiction of office. All the campaign promises they made that they are going to ridicule and even make insecurity to the minimum, none has been kept. Recall that Kashim Shetima actually stated it, that he, he personally will work with Bola Metinimbu to make sure that insecurity in this country is ridiculed. He has never kept to that promise. They are still making the same promises they made even when Buhari, the last president, was in office. The same mistake and the same changing of chief of staff and all that chiefs, that is the same, the same pattern and everything. That's what they are still using. And P2B, one of the fearless politicians, has taken it upon himself to also frown over what is happening in this particular country. You see, politicians will see this and they will keep quiet. They won't say anything because definitely they don't want the, or something that is going to affect them. And P2B has, has always shown his involvement in national security and also as an opposition party to tell this government led by Bola Metinibu that he should understand that security is one thing that ought not to be joked with. And this is exactly what P2B has to say. P2B, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party as a 2023 general election, stated that President, former President Muhari failed in the area of security for eight years and President Bola Metinibu appeared to be repeating the same mistake. P2B had to say that Tinimbu administration need to take decisive action on growing insecurity in the country. P2 
P2B was reacting to the renewed security bridges in some parts of the country, especially in the FCT. P2B went further to state that he described the recent killings of the two adopted young girls in Abuja as distressing, adding that it was time for the leaders to take all forms of serious measures to tackle the situation as terror attacks, banditry, kidnapping, and violence continue to range through the country. It is more concerning now with the surge of violence spreading through the federal capital territory and other places. And that is what has led to the fact whereby the Northerners have now started guiding themselves, forming groups, forming security units that will make sure that banditry and other kidnapping and other things will not meet them. That is to say, indirectly, the government has failed to safeguard them. The same government that they voted and gave massive vote on and they believed in when they were saying that they supported the, the, the Bola Metinibus administration and Kashim Shetima. Now, even them that supported the Muslim Muslim tickets are now the one being attacked. Now, they are trying to form communities and also form vigilante groups that will come and safeguard them. They fail to understand these things. These were things, obedience, we are clamoring that if things are not going to go well in the last presidential election, it is going to virtually affect everyone. And now that is what they are facing. P2B is a fearless man and he has continued to lament that Buhari failed in his security for eight years and Tinimbu is repeating the same mistake. They are virtually repeating the same process of tackling this insecurity. And when there is in the high, high rate of insecurity, foreign investors will fail to add, come to the country to invest and create employment. And this will help, this will not even help to grow the profit index of this particular country. All these are happening. And now the Fulanese and the Northerners have started clashing between themselves. They started forming vigilante groups that will come and safeguard their land and their farms because they know that they are not fully uh, secured over the fact that they fail to understand that even the Muslim Muslim ticket they voted for will not safeguard them. React on the comment section, what is your take on all what has just transpired over what P2B has just stated? And these Northern groups that have just formed this vigilante group to come and safeguard their lands and properties.